Welcome everyone on What's the News. Today we'll be covering our newest introduction to G-Cloud Storage CLI. My name is Nishant Kohli, uh, Outbound Product Manager, and joining me is Sonnet. Sonnet? Hi everyone, I'm Sonnet Tayel, a Product Manager on Cloud Storage Team. So Sonnet, as we discussed uh, some of the challenges that we've talked to our customer, you know, when they think about moving to cloud, some of the th key things come to their mind of how do I migrate my data? Or what are the challenges that they think about retrieving or ingesting data into cloud storage? There might be many tools that are, exist today, but they worry about performance, you know, parameters and configurations that they may think about would be best optimal to ingest or retrieve this data. Those things become quite daunting and challenging. So can you help us understand what are the things customers are doing today and what we're doing to help them? Definitely, Nishant, you point out a great problem. Customers today have a variety of tools that they use. They have existing CLI options, both provided by Google, like the GSUtil CLI, as well as the uh, other cloud CLI, which are compatible with Google Cloud. Uh, they also have tools like storage transfer service, which allow them to take the advantage of automated transfers uh, to Google Cloud Storage. But all of these tools, uh, it, as you mentioned, have the overhead of customers knowing what are the right settings and parameters that they need to use to get the most optimal performance. Most often, the, the, the support cases and issues that customers point us to are issues related to slow transfers, and they need help debugging and making sure that they can get the most optimal transfer speeds for their transfers. So to make the transfers easy, seamless, and fast is actually a problem that has been front and center in, in our minds. And this is exactly what we've solved with G Cloud Storage, which is our newest CLI for cloud storage. As the name suggests, it is G Cloud Storage, so it is consistent with the rest of the cloud. And it is fast by default. It introduces a new hashing algorithm uh, by using CRC32 library for hashing, as opposed to the older generation which used the CRC mod library. So the hashing algorithm is much faster and improves the transfer speeds greatly. It is also great at parallel processing because it treats every transfer problem as a graph problem, treating every unit of work as a node and every dependency as an edge. So it allows you to do a lot of work in parallel without any overhead. Again, improving the speeds of transfers greatly. In addition to all of that, we've also removed the overhead from the customers to know the best parameters for their commands. G Cloud Storage detects the most optimal settings for your transfers automatically without requiring you to specify any flags or options with your command. So this makes the command set fast without any overhead on the customers. Uh, that all sounds great. And I hope I don't have to worry about how the hashing algorithm really works. But let's talk about you know what are we doing to make that customer experience much easier and better? Oh, absolutely. So we, we again have been very focused on improving the customer experience and clarity of commands to make it super easy for everyone to use it in the most optimal way. We, uh, the G Cloud storage command set actually improves the clarity of commands by reducing the total number of overall commands that we have and structuring them a lot better in headers uh, or, or units, which are much easier to understand. For example, everything that you need to do for your buckets is now structured under a header called bucket. So you have G Cloud storage buckets and everything from create, delete falls under that set. Similarly, for objects, you'll have G Cloud storage objects, and then you'll have all the commands that you can use for interacting with objects on cloud storage. Now, that sounds pretty easy and simple to use. Now, you know, for customers that are used to existing tools like GSUtil, are, are there anything we're doing to help them along the way as well? Definitely. So that ease of use capability that we have for our new customers to just adopt G Cloud storage out of the box is something which we've talked about. But let's talk about what our existing customers that have scripts and dependencies on GSUtil can do to adopt it. So we've introduced a translation layer called Shim, which can allow your existing scripts, which are written in GSUtil, 
to run as G Cloud Storage and get all the performance benefits of G Cloud Storage without requiring you to rewrite or re-architect any of those scripts. So you can run your existing GSUtil scripts much faster by taking advantage of this shim. Wow, that all sounds really amazing. So let's get started. Can you walk us through understanding how do I get started with this? Where do I go? Yeah, so G Cloud Storage CLI is the CLI which is used by almost every service in Google Cloud. So installing it is super simple. Google Cloud ships a single SDK, which is called the Google Cloud SDK. And you can install that SDK. The latest version of it provides you with the G Cloud Storage CLI. And installing it is uh, explained step by step in the link that we have on the slide. You can upgrade to the SDK version 402 when it will be available to get this G Cloud storage out of the box. Wow, that sounds fairly simple. But I think what would be amazing if you can walk us through a demo and really show the true power of G Cloud storage. Absolutely. Let's go into a demo where I'll show you just how fast this G Cloud storage CLI is as compared to GSUtil. We'll also walk through how easy it is for you to adopt and get the benefit of shim that we've talked about, which allows you to rerun every GSUtil script that you have as G Cloud Storage. Awesome. So here I have a machine with Cloud SDK installed. You can see the version by GSUtil version L. First, I'll be downloading a file using the existing GSUtil CLI. So I use the GSUtil M command, which can do multi-processing and multi-threaded downloads for optimizing the performance of your downloads. So here I am downloading a 1GB file from an existing GCS bucket to my local machine. As you can see, the transfer is progressing and you can see the active transfer rate uh, and the throughput that I'm achieving with this transfer using GSU tool. And we have the file downloaded. Now let's do the same transfer using G Cloud Storage CLI. So for G Cloud, I don't need to specify any flags. And ultimately, the CP command can be used as is. Uh, note that here I'm using the alpha version of the command. But when we go GA with the G Cloud Storage CLI, the word alpha won't be needed anymore. So the same transfer, as you can see, is going a lot faster with G Cloud Storage as opposed to GSU tool. And we have the file downloaded. Now let's see the shim functionality for downloading the same file. For this, I have to go to the Boto file for my CLI. Here, I have to search for a section which is titled GSU tool. And once I find that section, it's a single line that I need to add, which says use G Cloud Storage equal to true. I save that file. And now I can run the same GSUtil command that I ran before. And you would see the transfer goes much faster because it's using the G Cloud CLI underneath. The transfer is almost complete, and you can see the transfer rate is similar to what we have for G Cloud Storage. Hopefully, that demo gave you a good sense of what G Cloud Storage can help you do. To recap, G Cloud Storage CLI is the newest offering, which makes the transfers into Google Cloud Storage fast without requiring you to provide any configuration parameters. It is also consistent with the rest of Google Cloud, because G Cloud is the CLI that is used by almost every service in Google Cloud. In addition to all of that, we provide you with a simple shim that can allow you to translate all of your existing GSUtil scripts and run them to get all the performance benefits of G Cloud storage. So you are not required to rewrite any of your scripts, but still get the performance benefits that are offered by this new CLI. Now, that sounds amazing. And I'd like to thank everyone for joining the session today and hope you learned something. 
and will continue to improve your experience when using our cloud storage product. Thank you very much. And thank you, Sonnet, for joining us today. Thank you.